All right, guys, I hope you can hear me. I'm working with a new camera setup. I'm in my new house. I got my new workbench. So hopefully this is the best angle. If you guys have any suggestions, put them down in the comments. So here's the box. This is the capstone box. This is what you get. I do get a book that I've actually taken out for my school. I just wanted to include the parts that I get. So 99% uh, of this is aero precision. Um, and with that, uh, we have the aero 308 uh, carbine buffer kit. We have the gas, it's a rifle length kit. Uh, the M5 upper, it is the forged. I'll kind of get into this uh, a little bit each, each more. The aero precision, it's the bolt carrier group. Charging handle, barrel nut. The M5 enhanced 308 handguard. Lower parts kit. The seven, uh, the point seven five zero um, phosphate gas block from Aero. You have the muzzle device from Aero. Some, you know, uh, crush washer. The uh, lower receiver tension screw. The forward assist, all from Aero. Uh, what's not from Aero? Oh, they also gave me a dust cut, a dust cover, port cover. Uh, this is the 80% 308 uh, billet lower. It is the 80% arms, as you can tell here. It is pretty nice. Uh, I'll, I'm gonna get into that a little bit more. Just a little mill spec, butt stock, nothing too fancy there. Uh, it does come with the drill bits that I need to actually finish this lower receiver and the tensioning screw for the lower receiver. So you get all those parts, I'll just leave those in there. You also get the multi-purpose bore light, so that's pretty cool too. Um, that's from Traditions Performance Firearms. You do get this armor's wrench. I don't know who it's through, I'm sure it's just probably uh, name brand, no name brand. Now, to complement my 80% arms lower, you get the 80% arms easy jig gen 2 so this is going to be your ar-15 and your 308 jig this is what i'll be using this is going to be in another video i'm actually going to mill up this out and i'm going to post the video and get all that taken care of for you so in your capstone box you have everything that you need to make the basic um uh rifle also there's a barrel i opened the box so i didn't have the box so i just wanted to keep it out it is a 16 inch it is narrow um so I just kind of put that to the side. So with that, I'm gonna put that all back in here and I'm gonna break down each piece individually. All right, so I have the 80% arms billet lower receiver. Uh, first impression, it is nice. Uh, it's got some nice clean lines. I can't wait to get this thing put together to complement with their uh, jig. So I can't wait to see how their parts work out. I have never used 80% uh, arms lower yet. So I'm pretty intrigued to see how this process goes. It is billet. Uh, I am a, I'm a forged receiver fan, but honestly, uh, forged or billet, you're both going to get the same life expectancy out of it. So um, I know that there's some scientific guys out there that are going to be like chemical makeup, the heating, the, the process. But for me, I'm okay with either. Uh, they're both going to they're both going to serve their purpose for me. So here it is. So it does have the safe and fire on both sides which I really do like. It does have the fully enclosed trigger uh, housing. So because of that, I, I'm, I'm a fan of that. I don't need no, I don't need a, a dragon, you know, flare out, out here. So uh, here it is. Now we have the M5 upper receiver. It is forged uh, out of 7075 T6 aluminum. It is nice, I already opened it up. I actually installed the Strike Industries dust cover it went on pretty easy i just wanted to see i was doing something for my class so i threw that on there already but i think it does make a great pair uh, with this so even with it out being milled out it does fit in it does look nice lines a little bulky right here uh but i don't think it's anything too crazy or anything that i, I can't live without uh perfect lines here on the side it's gonna have the latch I, i'm not too sure 
Um, it's a little off centered, but it's not. I, I think it will be fine. Uh, I don't. I, I plan on using a, a beefier uh, bolt catch there, anyways. So I might. I might just bring something down. I don't know. Uh, but this first impression of the arrow uh, upper, it, it the color is great. I don't think we really worry about color anymore. I think you know a few years back, you you got. Um, some purples variations in there but this is the coatings clear all the way through even inside uh, any marks are on there are from me messing around with it already uh, but yeah so there's that so here we have the m5 handguard um, it it is an m lock system which I love it does have the uh, quick detach mounts um, I, I think it's going to go good if we put it all together. Uh, coating looks great. Uh, I think I think it's a, a really good look. Uh, I, I've seen a lot of rifles out there with these with these, and I have no complaints of the aesthetics of them. So that's what I'm waiting for. There you go. This is the arrow barrel that came with it. Nothing fancy, rifle and gas system. So, get that rain for you. So, there you go. So, everything that came with this build is pretty standard for Aero. You already know, uh, if you've been around the block, you already know what all this stuff is. So, uh, just the standard bolt carrier group, nothing crazy. It's just the phosphate, it's not nickel born or it's not nitrate or anything. Although, everything else is going to be mil spec, uh, so there's nothing special there. What parts I have actually decided that I'm not going to use that I was given? Um, obviously, the dust cover because you've already you've already saw that. Let me spin that around so you can see the dust cover. I, I think it looks awesome. Strike Industries really does a great job with that. It was it's easy to put on. You don't have to worry about um, the bar. You, you just snap it in, 20 seconds tops. So. I also have some of the Strike Industries. I have their anti-walk uh, pins. In these big builds, I know that there is some vigorous recoil. It's gonna kind of be put through the work. So I wanted something that I, I, I could trust. They were like eight bucks uh, online. It's not a big deal. I like them. So I'm gonna throw those in there just with a lower parts kit. Also, I for the compensator, I am going to get rid of the standard A2 birdcage. I think the A2 birdcage is great. I am just a huge Strike Industry fan. Uh, I love I love the product that they put out. I have a muzzle device uh, on every rifle of mine that I own is pretty much from them. This is uh, the J Comp uh, Gen 2. Let's see here. So this it's a really nice compensator. It's for the 308. So I can't wait to kind of get that on there and take a look at that. So you'll be seeing that on there. And I bought this Strike Industries Oppressor. Now for this is going to be a review all on its own. I didn't buy it specifically for this platform or this build, but I did buy it because I can use it on almost any rifle. Bring it to the range if I got a bunch of people next to me um, or if you know I'm shooting with my wife and she's shooting next to me or something like that, I can uh, mitigate a lot of stuff. So I just wanted to, to try that out. So those are just a few parts that I uh, am gonna upgrade at this very moment. Um, I don't plan on uh, upgrading anything else at a later date, uh, except for I'm going to get a flat wire and maybe an adjustable um, buffer just to help with the recoil. I, I want I want this rifle to be able to, to you know 800 yards uh, for me is, is what I'll be happy with. I might upgrade the barrel system later on down the road. It's something that I need to upgrade now. All of this will work to get me there. I have a good platform. So with that, uh, I'm gonna get into a little bit more. All right guys, so as you can tell, I didn't really change too much about this build because I really wanted to see what this build was capable of with the standard parts that they gave us. They gave us a lot of mil spec parts, so I just wanna see if this thing could go out there and accurately put you know uh, consecutive uh, shots on 800 yards. Uh, so with that, that's my hopes. If it doesn't, I'm going to build off of that, but 
For this video, I just want to kind of lay out the plans for this build. I will be having videos along the lines of my build process. I'm going to mill out that the lower. I'm going to have that on, on my own separate video. The oppressor uh, from Strike Industries, I'm going to uh, get that is going to have its own video. So that's pretty cool. I'm super excited about that. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there. If you like this video and you wanna see more like it, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, it goes a long way. So leave your comments below. Have a good night.